This is the main reason people do not come back. 68% of the people are put off by the attitude of the people involved. Would you buy that? Yeah, exactly. I don't care where you're from. All across the world, you can think of places of business, outstanding products, but when you walk in there, they act like you're doing your favor, letting you buy from them. And I can tell you right now, the airline I used to work for, one of the main reasons it's no longer in business is when you got on their airplanes, acted like you're doing your favor, letting you ride with them. And you know what happened? People went right down the next concourse and got on a Delta, where they were appreciated, that southern charm that we had. And until you've been through an airline demise, you haven't been through it, ladies and gentlemen, and I have. It's not a very pretty thing. But you can all think of places of business, outstanding product, when you walk in there and say, boy, you know, Fernando, I appreciate you coming in here. Thanks a lot, John. We appreciate to have you right here. It's the attitude of the people involved. And I'm so lucky because I learned about attitude from a wonderful lady that I go to church with there in Dallas. And we were talking about doing some work together a while back. And she said, now, Patrick, what do you really do? <laughs> people want to know what I do. So I'm kind of a sales trainer because that's how I got started in this business. And she looked at me and said, no, 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 no. If you work with me, Listen to what she said, team leaders. If you work with me, because who do people work for? Themselves. Delta may be the team, but they work, everybody works for themselves. And she said, if you work with me, you'll be a sales educator. And I remember looking right at her and said, oh, gosh, what do you mean? Mary Kay. <laughs> of Mary Kay Cosmetics, who does all right in sales. You know, she makes a million dollars. A month. <laughs> I listen to people like that. She said, Patrick, people think I'm in the cosmetic business. I'm not. I'm in the people business, just like everybody sitting in here in the people business. And she said, in the people business, you train animals and you educate people. And educate comes from the Latin derivative to lead. You lead people to the right direction. Over end, over end. I just killed him. Well, when you get a good hit like that, kind of like when you get a good sale, you know, kind of get back and start strutting back when I call. Hey, Michael, send the limo, baby. You should see what I did. Oh, baby. And I was going back, patting myself on the shoulder, and I did. I looked back, and I saw him coming. Oh, no, it wasn't Carl McAdams, though. It was our coach. Coach Mad Dog James, we called him. We called Coach James Mad Dog because when he got mad and excited, his mouth foamed up like a mad dog. <laughs> Haven't you seen some people just like that, too? And he went running over to McAdams, who was still laying right on the ground, picked him up in a face mask, yanked him up in the air, and he said, What are you going to do, McAdams? Let some little freshman knock you on your can? What are you going to do in front of 30 million people? Now run it again. <laughs> this side's a little quicker than this side over here. <laughs> and we ran it again. Only this time, he knew what was going to happen. And I knew what was going to happen. <laughs> Everybody else just got out of the way. But here's the point. What happens is we know what's going to happen. We're going to go out there and people are going to say no. But we have to keep on convincing them, working with them, leading them to make the right decisions. And so consequently, it's the attitude that we Okay, attitude and skill. What about positive? That's easy, everybody. Attitude. Energetic. Attitude. Okay, now here's the key. The words that depict the winners in your life, it doesn't matter who they are. You look at these and all of them have some attitude. One of them has some skill. I am good at math. 95% is an attitude and 5% are skills. A lot of people say, so what? Here's a so what, ladies and gentlemen. Could I see all the hands of people in here that during your formalized education years, those years you were in school, took a class in attitude? No hands. Could I see all the people in here that during your formalized education years took a class in skills? Yeah, if you didn't raise your hand, you didn't go to school, did you? <laughs> That's where they teach in school. Reading, writing, arithmetic. Yet you tell me all the skills that you like, the, the winners, 95% is an attitude of life. And don't you think it's about time we have a class in attitude? Say yes. yes. Somebody say, you tricked us on that. <laughs> There's no trick to it. The, the companies in the Dynatech era, I mean, I'm talking about the great companies, always come up with the, about this percentage. Just about always. 
But here's what's interesting. I found a study conducted by the Carnegie Institute that literally went across the country asking people, what would it take to call yourself a winner or to be a success in life? You said 95% is an attitude, 5% is skill. Would you like to see what the Carnegie Institute came up with? Say yes, because you're about to. According to the Carnegie Institute, to be a success or winner in life is about 15% aptitude, 85% attitude. Just about always. That's what makes people have. You can teach people skills, but it's the attitude that you have. And that's why I've told Larry and Janet, I'm amazed at the great people we have on our team. The attitudes you have, because there are a lot of great people out there, but the key is this, it's what they come up with. It's amazing. And I'm speaking about being your best. So I had some best pens made for me a while back. And what I wanted to do is I like to present people who I think are, what, as I used a little bit, something that is an ATS person. Not only is a winner, they're an ATS person. An ATS person is a person who does what's expected of them and then some. A little bit extra. It's that little bit extra that separates them. And it's so great because there's so many good people in this room, but some people always stand out. Do that little bit extra. And when they do, they keep on going. And they do a little more, and you can't help but recognize them. And one of the people that always does a little bit more, people that I know, one of them is Karen Gray. Karen Gray. <laughs> Yeah, you know, anybody's travel knows what she is, but there's a, there's a second person here. And I'm so lucky because as a person who gets to work with a lot of you going around, I get a chance to work with a lot of people. And we have so many great marketing reps and team leads, but one team lead I've worked with does what's expected and always a little bit extra. Andre Johnson, you're the man. <laughs> Come in right through here, Ken. Thank you, Bart. Thank you. Let me squeeze right through here. Yeah, so what I like to do is just talk about that, but here's what's interesting, ladies and gentlemen. As I've looked at these words, see what's interesting is I've done this across the country. I've done it for over 20 years, working with the best teams in America, best companies, and I asked winners, and what I kept seeing is a lot of these words kept coming up again and again and again. So what I did is I compiled these lists, doing 10 years of research and over a thousand presentations just like this. Audience is giving me the top 10 words of winner and I compiled them. And I put them in my book, Flight Plan for Living. More importantly, the subtitle is The Art of Self-Encouragement. How to pick yourself up when you get knocked down. And so consequently, I put them in there and I published them. And one of the people who endorsed my book, I'm just going to throw this out, is Roger Staubach, the great NFL Hall of Fame quarterback from the Cowboys. When Roger and I got to know each other, I said, Roger, what's the one best thing you learned playing pro football? He said, the one best thing I learned is it takes 10 other guys to win that game. As good as Roger is, all pro, all NFL, it takes 10 guys. What kind of pulling guard do you think Roger would make? Our defensive end. All of us in here, ladies and gentlemen, have our own job. And that's what makes Dynatech work. It takes everybody working together, synergy taking place. And synergy is when the sum is greater than the parts, or one plus one equals three. So what I started thinking, I started compiling these things, and I said, you know what I want to do? I want to put them in. So would you like to see the top 10 words of a winner? According to this book, in 10 years of, re a present, of a research and 1,000 presentations, Say yes, because you're about to. <laughs> in descending order, the 10th most named trait of a 